Praise the Lord. We bring you greetings from Faith Temple Lighthouse, 7000 Bennett Street, where our pastor is District Elder Joseph Long. We thank God for this opportunity. We thank God for those that listen, that hear, and that tune in later. We thank God for all that he has done. All that he has done. Because he has done great things. I was listening to a song. It says, I know I have victory. I don't know when he's going to do it. I don't even know how he's going to do it. But I see victory ahead. See? I know he's going to. See, you got to know. Wait a minute. There's one thing to say it. There's one thing to know it. Huh? You got to know what you know, what you know that God's going to do it. I don't know when. I don't know how. But I do know that he will. That I know. That he can. Huh? He will make ways out of no ways. He will do it. Huh? He will do it. He can do it. All of us seven with a cold, I'm fighting through one myself. The devil always put my mind not to come. Oh, you don't feel good. Yeah, but I went to work. <laughs> you know, sometimes sometime God will put you in checkmate. Maybe I ain't never been in checkmate by God. Yeah. See, but I'm one of those sons that I seem to always get in checkmate. Yeah. Huh? Because I might be always trying to wiggle my way out, out of something. Let me, let me see if I can slide this way. I'm just being truthful. But God said, no, 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 I got to put you back in check. Yeah. Your ways are not my ways. Right. And your thoughts are not my thoughts. Yeah. Huh? So I got to put you back in check. Huh? I got to check you. Huh? But who he love if he what? He chases. So I must be loved. So I thank God for today. I thank God for what he's going to do. Um, I just thank God for all these done. Thank God for my wife, my family. Um, seeing all the saints of God, it's a blessing. You know, uh, to be here. To be numbered. To be counted. To be counted. Huh? In the land of the living. God could have took all of us from listening to testimonies. God could have taken all of us out of here, all those that testified. God could have said, it's over. Huh? Now I want people to start talking about your dash in the middle because your time has expired. But God, huh? when you got up today, there was grace and mercy at the end of your bed, and God woke you up for another day. He gave you another day. He gave you another chance. He gave you another way to give him the praise, the glory, and the honor. He gave it to you so you can give it back to him. Let everything that had breath, oh my God, let everything that had breath, praise ye the Lord. If I got breath, then I praise him. I glorify him. I magnify him. Hallelujah, because I got the breath to do it. If he takes it, then I can't. But if he gives it, I got to give it back. It's a gift that I give back because he gave it to me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And let me say this. I don't even deserve it. I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah, maybe you are, but, I, but I'm not worthy. I'm going to claim it from up here. I'm not worthy of God's blessings. I'm not, I'm not worthy of his mercy. I'm not worthy. Hallelujah. Thank God. Because all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Hallelujah. I failed God and he still picks me up. Hallelujah. He still finds a purpose in my life. He still finds a way to use me fall short all the time. I mess up all the time. I say to myself all the time when I break something, I say, well, they're going to wreck it Ralph again. Just breaking it. Trying to do it my way. Trying to do it the way I think it should be done. 
See, I'm a calculator. I calculate everything. Huh? That's from being a, a numbers man, a hustler's man's son. Yeah, yeah. I do it all in my head. And I calculate the advantages, the disadvantages, the minutes, the yards. I had my son do a project last night. How long many miles can you travel? 73, hours, 73 miles an hour. How far are they going to get you? How far they get you? How many hours does it take to get 266 miles? I calculate. That's what I do. That's who I am. Sometimes good, sometimes bad. Because sometimes you overthink things. Hey, man, I'm speaking to myself. You overthink things rather than over praying. <laughs> if I prayed more and thought less, I might get further. Y'all don't hear me. Huh? If, if I thought less about it and prayed more about it, I get further along. Huh? Y'all with me? Yeah. See? When I think of the goodness of Jesus in yeah. all that he has done, in oh. all that, oh. uh, my soul. Yeah. See, when I'm thinking on Jesus, I'm walking further. I can go further. He can be, he can be the wind beneath my, my wings. If, if I'm thinking on Jesus, he can do more for me than I can do for myself. So I, I, was, I was trying to come up with a scripture, but I, but I, but I wanted to talk about uh, 2 Corinthians, the fifth chapter. I won't, hopefully it won't be before you too long. But it's a blessing to see everybody out. Um, I just thank God. You know, we, we don't, 2 Corinthians, the fifth chapter, verse 17 and 18. On my, su on, my, on, my, on my side, on my notes, with those verses, it says, you know, you got new things and spiritual renewal. But I wanted to give you something today. I wanted to impart something that God had already given you. Uh, through the scripture, I'll read it 17 and 18. It says, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is what? A new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things become what? New. All things are of God who have reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ who have met who have given us the ministry of reconciliation dear Lord we thank you praise you magnify your name for the word of God for the power of God for the anointing of God that destroys every yoke Lord God now today cast down every high place cast, cast down any ism schism anything that's in the body that may affect or afflict us that we become just one body Lord God and we come with one praise and we give you the glory and the honor in Jesus name amen if I had a topic, it would be like, fix it. fix it. Fix it. Everybody has, wants to have a ministry. Well, the first ministry is the ministry of reconciliation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If we ain't working it out, it ain't, it ain't going to be right. Oh, no. So God, it says here, it says, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is what? A new creature. You can't come in here the old way. You can't come in here with your old self. Huh? With, 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 your, with your on the corner pimp walk. You, 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 you can't come that way. Because if you're truly in Christ Jesus, you got to have a new walk. You got to have a new way. It says here, I'm going to read it. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Change has to take place over my life you have to see a change in my walk you have to see a change in my talk you have to see a change in my purpose in how i fellowship and how i communicate i can't be ignorant with you every day i can't be nasty to you every day i can't be this i gotta have a new way do inventory you do inventory on your home. You get rid of old furniture. You get rid of things that have been around for 10 years and you're trying to hold on to it because they have sentimental values. Well, your old ways don't have no sentimental values. Huh? Paul said, I counted all lost. What I learned outside of Christ, all that under Gamalek, 
All that teaching, all the things that I did, all the persecution, I count all that loss because I'm changed in Christ. I'm new in Christ. My ways are new. My thoughts are new. The way I see things are new. I want to see the goodness in the land of the living. Who wants to see the goodness of God in the land? I want God to do great things, hallelujah, in this body, in this vineyard, in this house, in these people, in these saints, hallelujah, because I want to see the goodness. Let's all shout. Bridges eyes open. That's my prayer. I'm not bragging about my prayer. I'm just saying. I want that to happen. I want Mike's wife not to have seizures no more. I don't want Sister Hand to get sick. I don't want the saints to be. I want us to be covered. He said, I'm the Lord God that healeth thee. I claim that. I claim that. COVID ain't got no power over a child of God because the blood has all the answers. That's my booster shot. I'm not getting another shot. They ain't putting another needle. They ain't putting another, no more medication. My booster is Jesus. Come on, Jesus. Fix me right. Fix it up. Heal it. Make it strong. Make it better. Make it whole. Make it well. But you're going to be the one. you my booster. You ain't sticking nothing in my arm. You, I ain't taking nothing from a cup. My God said the table is spread. Hallelujah. The table has been spread. Hallelujah. And whatever I need, my God will supply. And it never runs out. It never gets low. And it never loses, my God, its power. I ain't taking the booster. I don't care what the government say. I don't care what the doctors say. I got a booster in Jesus. He sits high and he looks low with all power. Y'all don't hear me. All power in his hand. He knows how to stop COVID. He let it get started. Hallelujah. He knows how to stop seizures. He allowed them to come. Hallelujah. He has all the answers. He ain't got to flip through a book and look at an x-ray. Hallelujah. His word comes in like a sword, a two-edged sword. It cuts in. It comes going and coming. Hallelujah. He already knows how to fix you. I'm a new creature. Huh? Maybe you dwell on old things, but I'm looking for new things. I'm looking for new. There's another song that's out I listen to. It's called New. That's the title of it. I think it's Ty Trippett or one of them. It just talks about new. Everything that's new. I'm looking for something new from God. I'm looking for him to do a new thing. Something I ain't never seen him do before. I want to be astonished by the word of God. Four, if any man being Christ, he a new creature. Stop talking about old things. Can't put new wine in the old bottle. Can't do it. I have to call you a mixologist. You're trying to mix the old with the new. And it don't work. Huh? The new stuff is too powerful for that old bottle. It don't fit in that bottle. You can't be placed in that bottle. You can't be placed in that subject matter. You can't be placed in that area. Why? Because you don't fit no more there. God has made a change over your life. There's a change, hallelujah, that's come over me. There's a change, hallelujah, that's come over you. You don't fit what you used to fit. Old things are passed away. Somebody say that's dead. When someone bring up something about your past, say that's dead. <laughs> Why are you still trying to drag me down into that? That's dead. Why are you still trying to make me be that person? That's dead. Old things are passed away. Here we go. And behold, what? 
all things become new. I'm new. I don't know about you, I, but I like new things. Huh? Hallelujah. I ain't going to bring up my wife. I tried to. Lord, I said, hold it back. Hold it back. Hallelujah. But there's Christmas every day in our house. <laughs> Mainly from the coach place, but I ain't saying nothing. I'm going to leave right there. But anyway, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I like new things. <laughs> got to make sure I still got dinner cooked. <laughs> I like new things. And I want to see new things in you. I want to see God do things you said that man said you couldn't do. Huh? Man said you can't do that. You ain't got the degree for that. You ain't got the clout for that. You ain't got the education for that. But I got a God, hallelujah, that got everything that I need. Say you supply all my... That makes me new. Huh? That makes me new. Fix it, Lord. Fix my mind. So it stays affixed on you and what you're going to do for me, what you're going to use me for, how you're going to use me, what you're going to use me to do. Not to look at my limitations, not to look at my shortcomings, not to look at what man has told me this, that, and one thing, and another, hallelujah, but look up to thee, who is the author and the finisher of my faith. I'm looking for new things from God and fix what might be broken. Huh? Okay, okay. Oh, don't leave me. In, in, in Hebrews, it says that we have this great high priest. Huh? That is passed unto heaven. Jesus, the son of God. Let us hold fast to our profession. You can't hold fast to old professions. Huh? What somebody told you you was not, I'm a new creature in Christ. I have unlimited capabilities by the power of God to do what God wants me to do in his kingdom for his glory. And it says here, for we have not a high priest which we cannot touch. Oh my God. Huh? If you start to feel low. Huh? Like Brother Bernie said, he couldn't call 911. Couldn't do it. Mm -mm, but he could call Jesus. Hallelujah. And don't you know God is a, is a murmuring or, 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 or a mumming uh, interpreter? If you just mum, God know what that is. And you might not be able to open your mouth to formulate a sentence or a word, but he, mm, if you can, hallelujah, if you can just do that, my God, God will interpret what you're saying, hallelujah, and open your mouth, and then you can give him a praise, and you can have a conversation about what you need. God will interpret your pain and make it clear and come out so that he can fix it and you give him the praise, the glory and the honor. I want to touch Jesus. I got a priest that I can touch. He knows what you're going through, saints of God. He understands where you're at. He knows where you, what valley you're in. Hallelujah. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. It may look like a death situation, but I'm about to get in it with you. Hallelujah. To bring you through it because you felt, hallelujah, I felt your touch when you prayed. touch with a feeling of our infirmities but it's all points tempted like as we are yet without sin let us therefore come boldly boldly you want to have an attitude have a boldly attitude I come in here expecting something from God God ain't gonna leave Mike talking about what well, is she sick is she not sick no, he came boldly to the house of God. And God is going to answer that with a victory praise report. God is going to answer that with deliverance. God is going to answer that with healing. Hallelujah. He's going to fix it. So when you come boldly, when you got to press, 
a spiritual press, a spiritual desire, a spiritual awakening. You press, you press, and you pull, and you push, and you fight. Hallelujah. Do I have any fighters in the house today that want to fight the good fight of faith? I need some fighters. Hallelujah. I need somebody going to stand up and say, I want to stand. When I've done all that I can. When I've done all that I can. When I've done all that I can. I'm a hunker down. Hallelujah. I'm a stand. Hallelujah. I'm a drop anchor. Hallelujah. On the word of God. And I'm going to stand. Hallelujah. Right where I am. God, my God is able. Fix it. Fix it. Fix it. Fix it. Fix it. Fix it. Make it whole. Make it well. Bring it out. Bring it through. Bring it over. Fix it. Fix it. Fix it. Fix it. I need you to fix it. I need you to do it. I need you to do it now. I need you to fix it. I don't need you to do it tomorrow. You are right now, God. I need you to fix it. I need you to do it. I need you to come down, Lord. 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 Hallelujah. I need you to do it. I need you to do it. I need a word from God. I need a word from God. And not from the preacher, but from God. I need to hear it. Hallelujah. Speak, Lord. 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 Hallelujah. Servant. Fix it. Reconcile. Bringing us closer. I'm a new thing. I ain't got time for old conversation. I ain't got time when I talked about what I did in high school. I only use that for my kids. I want them to see me as a man of God. Not as an old washed up high school semi-pro football player. Fix our conversation. Fix our love. Fix our love for one another. Fix it. Fix it. Make it right. Broken down walls, fix it. Huh. Tore down relationships, fix it. Fix it, Lord. Word of God said, leave your gifts at the altar. If you got a problem with me, if I got a problem with you, leave my gift at the altar and I'll come and see Brother Carter. Brother, we got a problem? No, we don't. Praise God. Let's rejoice. Brother, we got a problem? Yes, we do. Fix it. Then we both go back to the altar. Come on, Paul shit. Hallelujah. The football team at West A, they come out two by two, hand in hand. He said he sent them out, what? Two by two. We got to work together to fix it. Some of the freshmen come out with the sophomores. Sophomores come out with the freshmen, the class doesn't matter. Your time and salvation shouldn't matter. Let's hold each other's hand and let's walk with one another. Let's fix it. Let's fix it. Don't go to bed broken. Huh? I think the Bible said don't, don't, don't go to sleep angry. Huh? Fix it before you close your eyes. Fix it before you fall asleep. I'm guilty of not doing it myself. Amen. See, I preach to myself first. Because <laughs> my pastor said he wants peace. Peace. 
Peace. Fix it. Saints of God, we have a great responsibility. In this house of God, in this vineyard, in this body of Christ. That if your arm is hurting, you should find out about your arm. And if you can have it fixed, and you fix it. I'm just using a natural term for a spirituality concept. Don't let your spirit stay broken. Don't walk around here with a broke spirit. And you got a God that knows how to fix it. You don't have to stay that way. You don't have to stay there. You don't have to live on the corner of misery or ism and schisms. You don't have to stay there. You can move. God got the best U-Haul business in, in the world. He'll move you with no charge. <laughs> He'll move you with no charge. Because you already been bought with a price. Fix it. If it's broke, fix it. If it went wrong somewhere, fix it. If you feel broken, God can fix it. He's a God that fixes things. He's a God that makes ways out of no ways. Fix it. We got a God that, that can be touched with our infirmities. Huh? Whatever you're going through, whatever you're feeling, you can cry. Weeping man door for a night. But my God, when, when Joy stepped into the room, my God. When Joy stepped into the room, he just don't bring joy, he bring peace. My God. He don't come empty handed when he come. He don't come depleted when he come. You go in on and cry, but weeping may endure for a night. But God is going to fix it. You go in on and cry. It's too much for you to bear. But you know what else? He interprets teardrops. My God. He interprets those too. He's going to come in. And tear, he gonna wipe away all my tears. Fix it. Thank God, don't you aren't you glad you know a God that can fix it? That he can reconcile things and bring them to new. You ain't got to stay in the old. This is a season of new, new beginnings, new start. Huh? If he brought you out, it's a new day. Huh? If he brought you through, it's a new opportunity. This is new. This is new. Leave the old things behind. Lay aside every weight. Lay it aside. Why are you carrying it? Huh? Lay aside. It's too heavy for you. God will take it. But what I want you to stop doing is taking and give it to him and have a string attached and pull it right back with you. Huh? Is that all right? Right? Oh, here it is, God. Psych. No, 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 no. You got to leave it there. Take your burdens to the Lord and leave it with the fixer. He'll fix it. Huh? You know, I know he's a fixer. I'm, I'm close. I'm close. I'm close. He's a carpenter's son. He know the tricks to the trade. He got you measured already, Brother Ken. He know how to put you in a new suit. He know your measurements. You know your shortcomings? He didn't save you because you was perfect, Lord Jesus. I'm so far from perfection. It's unreal. 
But he did pull me up out of the muck in the miry clay. Huh? So that means whatever was wrong with me, he can fix it. What, he, what somebody else didn't see value in, he saw value. He said, I can fix that. Huh? That problem you have, I can fix that. Huh? Those desires you have that are not godly, I can fix that. I can fix it. So never think you're out of the reach of God. Old Tim said, if I make my bed in hell, thou art there. Saints of God, when you're called, when you're chosen, selected and elected, no merit, no matter where you try to run, God going to find you. Huh? And like I always say, I ran to Japan and was happy to get there, and God was speaking in tongues to me right there. You can't run from God. Huh? Took me 15 hours to get there on a flight. And he was already waiting. And never understood who he was. And then he showed himself. And then I knew it's what I've been running from all my life. The Navy couldn't fix it. Huh? Uncle Sam couldn't fix it. But God. God can fix it. He's a heart fixer and a mind regulator. Whatever you need, God's got it. Let us stand. Let us stand. Let us stand. We're going to have prayer where you are, where you are. What up, lifted hands? We serve a God that never sleeps nor slumbers. He's up right now, and he'll be up when you sleep. Lord God, but right now we ask for prayers over this body right now. Over every soul, whatever we're deficient in, whatever we lack, whatever we need healed, whatever we need changed, let us get it repaired, Lord God. Let us get healed, delivered. That we can be the child of God. Lord God, you died to reconcile the world to you. And you all gave us the, rec the, the, the ministry of reconciliation. Fix it, Lord God, that we may be what you called us to be. We love you. We magnify your name. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody said, Amen. Amen.